friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I'm gonna be ranking my last 10 palettes. I'm really excited. I've acquired 10 more. I've tried them out, played with them. I'm gonna be showing you swatches, chatting about them, ranking them. Really excited to dive into these. There are some really good ones in the stack this time. Honestly, I don't dislike any of them. This was a really hard ranking, similar to last time. These were really hard to pin against each other. I was pretty certain on my top three, but really everything else, 10 to four, was really tough to rank them. And as usual, I always have to say something just in case someone thinks that I'm forgetting something. I swear I'm not forgetting a palette. I keep a list ongoing and once I reach 10, that's when I film these videos. So if you think I'm missing something, I either haven't tried it yet, I don't own it, or I ranked it in the last ranking. So you think I'm skipping something? I promise you I'm not. I did of course get this video idea initially from Annette's Makeup Corner and as always I will have her channel in my description box for you. And before we dive into the rankings I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my Instagram and TikTok by the time this video goes up. And I'm just gonna give you my jewelry details really quick. These earrings are from the brand Five Lemons and I think this choker is from Shop Sun & Co. So yeah without further ado let's just dive in and rank these last 10 palettes. As always, I have already filmed with all of these palettes, sometimes multiple videos. You can check my Instagram, TikTok, YouTube channel for different videos. I will point you in the direction of all of them, but I did already do looks with all of these. Okay, diving in with number 10. And before I say this one, again, I wanna preface that just because this is number 10 doesn't mean I dislike it. I was actually thinking this would end up a little bit higher, but... As it stands, I just like everything else a tiny bit more. So number 10 is going to be my Dark Passenger Palette from Salem Cosmetics. My video with this is on Instagram and TikTok, and I think it's a really cute collection. They did a whole Dexter-themed collection. I love Dexter. I've been re-watching it again, actually, for the first time in almost a decade, and I've been re-obsessed with it. And I was really excited about this collection and really excited for their first palette ever. I think the color story is really pretty, and the mattes actually blend really, really well. They have great pigmentation and they blend with ease, even like those dark reds and dark blues. They blended like a dream, honestly. I didn't know what to expect since this was their first time doing eyeshadows, but I think they did a really good job. The main reason this one didn't get bumped up anymore is because Going forward in this ranking, there are a lot of palettes with really shifty, special, dimensional shimmers. And these shimmers aren't bad, but they're definitely more on the subtle side for me personally. So mostly just because the other shimmers beat it out is why this is number 10. But I think this is a lovely color story. I think it performed well. I didn't have any issues. I just like everything else a little bit more, but this is a very cute palette. Moving on, ranked number nine. This is going to be my Unity palette from St. Angel Sinners Cosmetics. I don't think this palette's even available anymore. I know that they've discontinued some of their palettes, so I'm not totally sure. Anything that I can, I'll link down below for you guys. Pretty sure this one's gone though. They sent me this one recently and it's quite cute. Little nine pan green, blue, purple situation. I think it's really pretty. The main reason I didn't rank this one any higher is just because even though I do adore this color story, I just found, I don't know, I'm not gravitating towards this one as much. I feel like maybe the mattes just aren't as nice as I would want. They're not bad, don't get me wrong. I did a whole YouTube video where I played with a lot of St. Angel Sinners palettes together and I used a lot of the mattes from this palette. No, I don't think it's the mattes that are the issue. You know, I think it's just because this palette does have pretty shimmers in it, but only two of them are that like really chunky dimensional shimmer that I really like from this brand in particular. So two of the shimmers not being like as chunky metallic special made me rank this one a little bit lower. But again, I don't dislike this palette. It's only because I like everything else just a little bit more. I had to be nitpicky in this video because I really did like everything a lot. This was really tough. I ended up having a really good time with all of these palettes, but yeah, had to be a little bit nitpicky. So because of that, again, I just like all the other things going forward just a little bit better. There's maybe a little bit more special of a formula, something of that nature. But I do like this little guy a lot. I think he's very cute. Moving on to number eight, I'm giving it to my What's Up Beauty Geodes palette. This is beautiful. Look at this packaging. 
This is absolutely stunning. My video with this is on Instagram and TikTok. It is so beautiful. We have a nice range of mattes and shimmers. I love the shimmers in this palette. They definitely steal the show for me. The mattes are fine, but it is very neutral heavy, which isn't totally my cup of tea. I do love this pop of yellow and I do like this weird taupey color. It's very grungy, very cute. The shimmers are so pretty and shifty and special. They also came out with nail polishes in this collection. That's what this is. It's the Peridot shade, so I thought that was a fun little thing that they did. Um, but this palette's really cute. The mattes did blend out beautifully. They were super easy to work with, and the shimmers are just so glitzy special on the eyes. They have beautiful shifts and shines. This was a lot of fun to play with. The main reason I didn't rank this one any higher is just because the color stories going forward kind of speak to my soul a little bit more. I feel like maybe if this had like a purple matte or even a green matte. This would have been kicked up another notch for me personally, but I do think this is a really pretty palette. And maybe if you're someone who typically likes to play on the more neutral realm, but you like a pop of Shifty Shimmer, this could be a good palette to look for. It is a nice one. I'm very happy that I got a chance to try this one out. Moving on to number seven. I just realized there are no color pop palettes in this ranking. This is crazy. I don't know if there were any last time either. I haven't been trying color pop palettes lately. I feel like nothing's just really been speaking to my soul lately, but anyways, number seven. This is another St. Angel Sinners palette. This was included in that video that I did on my YouTube channel, kind of playing with a lot of palettes together. I do still plan on doing individual Instagram videos with some of these palettes, so just stay tuned because there might be another video coming. Um, in the near future. I just have a very long filming list and I'm trying to work my way through it. But this is in collaboration with Funny Butter. This is the Best Buds palette. It is a nine pan shifty magical dream. All of these are that chunky dimensional textured shimmer that I love. They're not pressed glitters. They're not like flakes or anything like that. They're just a really shifty metallic glitzy shimmer. I don't know how to explain it other than that. They have beautiful shifts. These are so much fun to play with. I've been having a blast with it and I'm just so happy to have it in my possession. This is a very like middle of the ranking for me. Clearly it's number like what, seven? Um, yeah, I only didn't rank this one higher just because going forward, maybe I like the shimmers a little bit more or the color story as a whole. My top ones have a mixture of mattes and shimmers, which I do prefer a matte and shimmer ratio. But once in a while I can get down with an all shimmer palette when it's super special shimmers. It ends up being a really good companion palette, something fun for me to use. And I've had a lot of fun with this one. I think it's a great palette. And rounding out the bottom five of this most recent 10 palettes, uh, this is also from St. Angel Sinners and Funny Butter. This is the Makeup and Chill palette. This is another nine pan, super shifty dimensional palette. The only reason I rank this one higher than Best Buds is just because I like the tones in here just a little bit more. Again, I did include this as well in that YouTube video with a bunch of St. Angel Sinners palettes. These are so much fun to play with. They are just beautiful shifts, beautiful tones. I love them. These pair really nicely together. This is a really good, again, companion palette for a lot of the things that I like to do. I think this is absolutely glorious. So that's why this is ranked number six. I've liked it the most so far, but going forward, everything else also has beautiful shimmers and it has a really nice matte to shimmer ratio, or I just like the overall color story a little bit better. Okay, moving on into my top five now. Uh, this is another St. Angel Sinners palette. I got the opportunity to try a whole slew of palettes from them. Uh, and that was my actual first time trying them were these recent palettes. I did talk about one in the last ranking because I tried it first, but yeah, all of these just together were what I got to try recently. This is their other collab palette, their newest palette. Well, at the moment that I'm filming this, I think it's their newest palette. They come out with a lot of palettes, so... I think this is their newest at the moment, but this is the St. Angel Sinners in collaboration with Smink. I'm super excited about this one. This is the Follow Your Dreams. I used it today for this look that you see right here and I love it. It's such a fun color story. It's a little chaotic, a little crazy, but I love that. I kind of love chaotic color stories. I think it's very inspiring. I think there's a lot of different things you could do. There are lots of beautiful shifty shimmers in here. I will say some of the shimmers are a little more on the subtle side like in that Unity palette, but some of them do have that really strong, shifty, textured, dimensional shimmer, and I love that. I think the mattes are really beautiful. They were really easy to blend and work with. This green, for instance, like I blended it by itself. I didn't have to use lighter things to blend it out, and then I just deepened it a little bit more with this shade. So much fun. I think my lids look so good. I keep sneaking a glance at them in the mirror. 
I think this is a lot of fun to play with and I definitely needed to rank this one pretty high because I think it's a fun color story. I had fun playing with it, but I do like everything else a little bit more going forward. Moving on to number four, it is my final St. Angel Sinners palette. This is the Swim Team palette. I love this. This one was actually a subscriber gift specifically. A uh, shout out to you, Justine. Thank you very much. I love this little palette. Just six pans, gets the job done, grungy vibes. The mattes, again, are very beautiful. They're very easy to work with. I love these tones and how they pair together. And then these two shimmers just have beautiful shifts. I absolutely love them. They complement the mattes so well. I am a sucker for a smaller palette, especially when it has a really good color story. So this one stole my heart. I had a strong feeling this was gonna be my favorite one from them and that's why I made it to number four. But as it stands, the top three, I like just a smidge more. So let's get into those. Number three, I'm giving to my Unearthly Cosmetics Leather and Lace Palette. I recently uploaded a video to my YouTube channel playing with this, and I think my Instagram video slash TikTok will be up soon after this video. I don't think it'll be up before, but it will be up soon. There's a chance it'll already be up on TikTok before it's on Instagram, though. So this is the Leather and Lace Palette. We have 12 pans of beautiful, grungy fall dreams. If you know me at all, you know how much I love these grungy tones. They are just so beautiful. I love how we have just the monochromatic rose. It's such a beautiful gradient from light to dark with the matching shimmers. This is a very easy palette if you wanted to just throw together looks really easily, or you can kind of work across the board and make looks with mixing and matching the colors. And I love that too. I love Unearthly Cosmetics formula and this palette makes me very happy. I'm craving autumn right now so bad. It is like a zillion degrees outside here in Florida. And I know it doesn't really get to fall when it's fall, but at least the vibes are there. And this is making my soul very happy. I thought this was actually gonna be ranked like number two or possibly even number one. The top three, I kind of had to move around a little bit. The main reason I didn't rank this one higher is just because the shimmer formulas in the next two, I think I liked a little bit more than this one. Again, being really nitpicky in this video, but do love this palette and I'm super excited about it. Ranked number two is going to be my new Odin's Eye Soul Main 2 palette. I love this. I've already uploaded a two looks video on my YouTube channel and I posted an Instagram video and TikTok. So lots of looks if you need some inspo. I'm loving this. It is so much fun. It is a colorful dream. I love the range from light to dark. The shimmers in here are beautiful. I just love Odin's Eye's formula and I feel like their shimmer formula has just been stepped up over the last couple years and it is just absolutely wonderful. These tones play together so nicely. I think it's gonna be a good companion to the other Odin's Eye palettes, honestly, especially the Alva 2. I think they would complement so well. I've just been having an absolute blast with this and I knew this was gonna get ranked really high. I actually had this ranked as number one for a little while when I was kind of forming my list over time, but the number one palette did take its place when I finally tried it just because the shimmers blew it out of the water. Moving on to number one, drum roll please, it's gonna be my Cleona and Emily Violet Marie Dragon Fruit Palette. I love this. I have already uploaded a YouTube video and I think again my Instagram video slash TikTok will be up soon either before or after this video, I'm not quite sure. But look at it, the packaging is just so pretty. It's a little awkward to hold because it's a little bit heavy, but that's not a bad thing. Um, these shimmers are amazing. They are so shifty and dimensional. I've used Cleona's duo chromes as singles before, but I have not dabbled in their multi-chromes yet. So I was super excited to see them coming out with the palette. I really adore Emily Violet Marie as well. And I think these colors are just so much fun. Very spring summer, which I know I was just going on about how I'm missing fall, but sometimes there are certain palettes that make me embrace the spring and summer vibes. So this is one of those palettes. It's really exciting for me. It's very colorful and vibrant, and this one makes me really happy. So that's why this one got ranked number one. It's very special. I love the shimmers in here. So that's gonna round it out for my ranking. Thank you so much for watching my ranking. I would love to hear your thoughts. Did anything surprise you? Have you tried any of these yourself? Are you interested in trying any of them? Let's chat down below. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave me your last 10 most recently used emojis? I feel like that's always the game we play. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. 
And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos I'm posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.